I've been following State Highway 64 West going into the Panhandle today. Uh, there was a little green sign off the highway, which you guys know I tend to follow those, especially when they indicate a cemetery or a small town. This is a dead end road. I believe it ends right over there. But here's, ironically, this, or I shouldn't say ironically, but <laughs> this actually has two entrances, which usually they don't. Uh, it's pretty overgrown. Now, I wasn't going to roll video here, but uh, it, this has actually got some pretty interesting features. And because it is overgrown, I mean, there is a, a slight cement. This is where they kind of want you to run your car because here's the cement path and it you can vaguely see it it goes up and around there's a lot of old graves here a lot now this is obviously going to be a newer stone and i don't know if you can see that but i mean we're looking at 1861 and they died in 1930. this is 1862 and 1935. I thought there'd be more on this side and I actually kind of thought maybe this would be the older side. But these are the only two I saw over here. I wonder if that's when this was poured. It says 1956. Neither one of these graves are from that time period. The other really interesting feature is this old hand pump out here. I wanted to make sure I got this on video. I come across these a lot. This one doesn't have a patent date on it, but a lot of them usually have a patent date of about the 1800s. They never work, never. This one still works. It actually brings up water. You can see. Now, I don't know if I'd drink it. That's unreal. Usually either the well is dry or the pump mechanism itself on the inside is broken. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time here. Just take a quick look around. But here's the... Uh, other side of that circle path. I'll just go out the other way, so I'll shut this behind me. Maybe. This gentleman here is a World War I veteran. I was looking at his grave earlier. I was taking a few photographs. I see you got a group of snows here, so obviously a family. Got some, I got two there, got two here. World War II, 1912 to 1944. Okay, this 2008 is probably the most modern one I've seen. This group over here these these look pretty old it right, looks like it's gonna be maybe on this side father isaac c davidson 
born 1846, died May 23rd, 1929. Here's the mother. She was born 1848 and died 1933. Another Davidson. Here's another one. Another fairly modern. She died in 1991. There is no town around here. Here's some other Davidsons. Now this gate was open when I got here, so I'm gonna close it when I leave. Somebody may have been in here. There's quite a few of us that roam around and take pictures. Yeah, it kind of looks like somebody drove right through here. So they may have just not locked the gate. Or the wind may have blown it open, I don't know. Another World War I. Has a beautiful stone. I was gonna take you back here so we can look at these crypts real quick. These are there's a Wagner. They got kind of a poured footstone, so they've got a you know, this looks like maybe at one point it had some sort of fencing. These, both these people died the same year. That's kind of unusual. It looks like uh, you take this off to put the coffins in. I liked this one too because the, the cameos were actually still there. A lot of times when I come across these, the the pictures are gone just because they age and fall apart. It could be the positioning of this one. The sun doesn't really hit it directly. So it looks like someone's been doing some tree work. Yeah, quit jabbering, but this is the only other interesting feature I really saw. I believe this was the outhouse or some variation thereof. I think that's what those two holes there were. Of course, it's obviously gone. But that's what led me to, to see this here. See, this is that. You can kind of see the cement path here just to my left. When I got to about this point, I believe I started seeing it on the other side, so I realized, yeah. So, you drove your car in between here. One thing about the panhandle, it's got these beautiful grasses here. It's prairie grass. It turns such a beautiful shade in the fall and winter. This is probably about the third cemetery I've come across uh, in my explorations called Mount Pleasant. I guess it's just a popular moniker. I believe we're in Harper County. All right, guys. I'm gonna head back up to the Highway 64. We're gonna keep on roaming around. <laughs>